you are going to do the warm up the same time Addison does it. Okay, this is going to be our warm up for our level one, two, and three classes. We're going to start with 20 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we're going to do twenty high knees now. Go ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay, we're going to do 20 hops on our right foot. We're going to try to keep our foot really pointed. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and switch feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and we're going to end with 10 frog jumps. And one, you're going to stretch up really tall when you go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. You are going to do all of your running through cones and grapevines the same time as Addison. We are moving on to our ball stations now. We put down our squishy friends instead of cones and go ahead, we're going to run six times. We're gonna go really fast. We wanna to try to stay on our toes when we get to the end. We're gonna turn around and go ahead and do it again. Our goal is to get faster so that when we get to ball, we can go really fast and get over our mats or the table. You want to stay on your toes. You don't want to drop your heels as you're running. This month is speed month, so we want to focus on running really, really fast. Any videos that you have of you running fast, you can send to us and we can put them on the Instagram or Facebook. All right, now that we did it forward six times, we're gonna go backwards six times. So backwards a little bit harder, but you can't really see where you're going. You wanna make sure that you're using your eyes to see where you are without turning your whole body around. The way Addison is doing it is great. So again, we're gonna do this six times. We want to try to not knock into our cones or our friends that we have on the floor. This is a great thing to do if you can do it outside or in your house. You just want to make sure you're not going to run into anything. See how she's spinning around there? And same thing as when you run forward, you want to stay on your toes. Try not to put your heels on the floor. We are going to do our grapevine down and back. We're gonna go in between our smushy friends. So we're gonna do one foot down and the opposite foot on the way back. And we're gonna do these six times. So we can just go three times down and back. You really wanna focus on having really fast feet. You're gonna go in front and then behind every time you do it. For our last fall drill, we're gonna focus on running really fast. So we're gonna sit on our booty in a pike with super straight legs, pointed feet, and move our arms really fast like we're running. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds. Go. So see how Addison is bouncing up off the floor? That's the goal. You wanna run so fast. Imagine something is chasing you. Really fast arms. Good job. 
Remember, you want to focus on having your chest up and your chin up like when you're running. Awesome. Good. going to do your pike push-ups, squat on drill, and kip drill with Addison. Everything else will be done timed after she demonstrates. We're going to start our first bar drill. We're going to do pike push-ups. We're going to do two rounds of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. It's really easy to do them if we have our hands turned in a little bit. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next drill we're going to do on bars is our push up shape on the couch. So you're going to put your legs up on something really sturdy and have your knees super tight and your legs straight. You want to make sure your shoulders are pushed all the way up and your booty is super tight. If you're a level one and two, you're going to do those 30 seconds for two times. But if you're a level three or four, you're going to hold it for one minute without coming down. You want to make sure you keep your head in and you don't have your belly sagging down and your feet stay really pointed. This is so we can do our casts on the real bar. going to do is our kip drill. So we're going to start with our feet up. We're going to have them super straight, really pointed feet, arms by your ears. You're going to go forward and push down on the floor and try to stick your booty up. Okay, go ahead. Legs up. And two. Legs up. Three. Four. Five. See how she's leaning forward? That's really good because that's how we want to finish on the bar. And eight. All right, our last bar drill is going to be our front support hold. You're going to try to find a couch or anything like that that you can do safely. So you're going to push up to a front support like you're on the bar and you're going to hold for 15 seconds. You want to be in a really pretty shape like your cat shape. Shoulders up, squeeze this, super straight legs. 
Level threes and fours, we are going to do this three times. And come on down. <laughs> 